From eye-catching colourful scratch cards to age-restricted fruit machines and pubs, all luring children to gamble. The alarming scale laid bare today. A report says it's an addiction among children that's bordering on an epidemic. You do it like subconsciously without like deliberately knowing that it's going to cost more and more money the more you do it. And these 12 to 14 year olds say it's a temptation that follows them online. So have any of you gambled before? No, but one of my friends has like, he's spent over a thousand pounds in like the past year or something. On what? On Fortnite, on like gambling, like Betway and stuff like that. A thousand pounds? How old is he? My age, like 12. Yeah, my friend's brother, he spent 700 pounds on his mum and dad's credit card without telling them. They say they're regularly bombarded with adverts, coaxing them into gambling. Just a little ad or pop-up for gambling or something like that. It's so easy to just click on without uh, thinking about it. It's really easy to do. And the numbers are staggering. This report found nearly half a million 11 to 16 year olds bet regularly. That's one in seven. Of those, 55,000 were classed as problem gamblers, with a further 70,000 youngsters at risk. This is called a hidden addiction and we actually need to shine a spotlight on gambling as a public health issue and today this report um, in, a, in a deeply concerning way does so. Charles and Liz Ritchie's son Jack killed himself last November after getting hooked on fixed odds betting terminals. Well, we've got to stop the advertising. It has to be stopped. It's normalised gambling. We have to implement a, a levy on the gambling industry. The body representing amusement arcades says it takes its responsibility towards children very seriously. So we, for example, will have uh, very complex training programmes amongst our staff. We test our members uh, to make sure that they don't actually allow under-18s into their premises. And those tests are showing pass rates up into the 80s. But with the number of children with gambling problems soaring, many parents are saying current measures just aren't working. Sejal Karia, ITV News.